Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So if you entered this video because the title that Satoshi Nakamoto is revealed and he just moved 400,001 Bitcoin to an exchange from the Satoshi wallet, you just have been pranked. That's an April Fool's Day joke. So make sure that you're not trusting today's news, my friends, like I did here, this title and thumbnail. It's all fake. It's just a joke. Nothing happened. You just have been fooled by the spirit of the 1st of April. So in today's video we're gonna cover as usual the real facts what is going on right now in the Bitcoin price. Of course we're also gonna cover Ethereum because we have some very bullish news on Ethereum and at the end we're also gonna cover the DXY and of course Nasdaq as well. All right, my friends, so let's start here in the four hour time frame, because even though Bitcoin is going still sideways and we also had several bearish divergences in the four hour and also in the three hour time frame, everything is pointing out that very, very soon we're going to see new all time highs and we should expect to go again way above 60K pretty soon. So what you can see here in the four hour time frame is that we are still trapped within this ascending channel that we were also in yesterday and we have a clear resistance here right at exactly $59,300 and in my opinion as soon as we are able to close four hour candles above this important resistance we should be able to go and fight this 60k area and potentially also break it because we still have this potential resistance here at around $62,000 so the old all time high if here we're gonna see a big breakout to the upside from this potential ascending triangle that we are forming here. So as soon as this resistance is broken, my friends, I think that Bitcoin can easily go towards $62,000 and most likely also way higher and of course then create new all-time highs. In the four hour, we are in an uptrend. We are trading above all the moving averages and even though we are a bit overbought here and although we got this bearish divergence, it could be already playing out right now since we're going sideways and that's why i'm expecting here very soon big pumps towards sixty-two thousand dollars. so if you want to trade this over on bybit and femex for the competition make sure that you are in a long position right now and uh, keep in mind that we still have this new competition that is going on here on bybit make sure that you register to it if you're anyway are trading over on bybit it's an individual trading competition so everyone can participate to it and currently we can win up to $200,000. So make sure that you sign up to this uh, seven day challenge here on Bybit as well, especially if you're also trading on the event over on Femex. And now let's switch over into the daily time frame because yesterday we had a very nice close above the 20 daily moving average. We once again confirmed it as a support. We didn't even dip below this important moving average. And right now it's exactly here lining up at our main support at around $57,000. So in order to see new all time highs here very soon, we should maintain at least this support here of $57,000. Even better if we wouldn't drop below $58,000 because this is the support that we have from this ascending channel that we are currently in. So we should expect here a big breakout to the upside incoming very soon and uh, the daily is also still looking very bullish. Of course, we are a bit overbought here, but I think we have still a lot of room left to go here and the daily time frame is also still in an uptrend. We just came down to the bottom of the EMAs with this correction that we have seen since $62,000. So everything is pointing out that here also we should see new all time highs very soon. And we can also go now over into the weekly time frame to see again where are the 9 and 20 weekly moving average because you can see that the 9 weekly is still here at around $53,000. So in theory we shouldn't drop any more lower than that. Otherwise things could start to look a bit ugly here because during this bull run we never dipped below the 9 weekly moving average. So this moving average always held as a very strong support and that's why right here we should expect a big bounce if we're coming down to these levels. In my opinion, it's not anymore that likely that we will revisit here these $53,000 since we are looking very bullish right now 
and after two weeks of red here i think this week we could start a really bullish candle here if we are able to close above the old all-time high and of course then also see continuations to the upside in the next coming weeks and months so that's why i'm very bullish for these coming two months april and may so as soon as we're gonna close a bullish weekly candle above the previous ones so we have to close it at least above fifty nine thousand dollar then i think this will be the start of a major parabolic rise up here for the bitcoin price and you can see that also the monthly candle closed very bullish here in march and so far we only have seen once in the history of bitcoin that the monthly candle closed in green especially with a big pump like we have seen this month so even in the bull market of 2017 we had a red candle here you can see the month of march was also in red and also in the past usually march was always a very bearish month and the only time when we closed a bullish monthly candle was in the bull market of 2013. So in March 2013, we also had this parabolic rise up. Then in April, we had here this blow off top, which also signaled here a local cycle top. Then we started a huge correction afterwards. And then we had this massive parabolic rise up to then reach the ultimate cycle top in 2013. And that's why I compare this bull market more to the bull market of 2013 than to the bull market in 2017. So I'm expecting something very, very similar like we had in 2013 for this year. I can imagine that most likely in April or May we could see a local top also because of the cycle top indicators. They're also suggesting that we could see a cycle top very soon. And that could mean that maybe we're gonna see a local top in these next coming weeks and months, then start a little bear market like we did also in 2013 and then come up to reach the final targets of this cycle which in my opinion will be way above $100,000. So what I can imagine for this bull market is that we may be gonna top out somewhere between 75 to 100K for now, then have a small bear market or huge sell off and then slowly start again to take off here towards new all time highs, which in my opinion then will be way above 100K. Until then, we're gonna start again to consolidate or enter into a bear market until the next halving at least this is my expectations for this cycle so let's see what will happen once we're starting here to create new all-time highs my friends but overall for the long term bitcoin is looking very bullish in all time frames especially here in the monthly and now let's go over to ethereum because yesterday i uploaded an update video only for ethereum since we were breaking out here to the upside and as you can see so far we have already now some confirmations that we are having right now the previous resistance as a new support so far we didn't even dipped once below this previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support right here at around 1870 dollars so here the lower time frames like the four hour is suggesting that maybe very very soon we could see a little pullback maybe to retest this area but overall I think the breakout is happening right now and you're still not too late to buy more ethereum and also long ethereum over on Bybit or Femex because the target here should be at around $2,500. So yesterday we did a measurement here from the symmetrical triangle. This will take us towards $2,600 and also the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level based on this last price action that we had here from $2,000 down to $1,300 tells us that we could see $2,500 next with this breakout that we are having right now. So all time frames are back into bullish mode here, my friends, and we should expect here also for Ethereum very soon, big fireworks to the upside. And usually Ethereum, when it's starting to move, it moves very fast and very aggressively. So that's why I think this is still a sleeping dog here. And once this dog wakes up, my friends, we're gonna see big pumps here. Maybe short term we even outperform bitcoin but for sure here we're gonna see ethereum trading way above two thousand dollar very very soon and now let's head over into the dxy because the dxy currently is having a little pullback here as expected and also we are getting right now a sell signal it will be confirmed by tomorrow 
but since we are back in an uptrend here i just can imagine that we just go down here to test the 9 or 200 daily moving average so between 92 dollars and 70 cents maybe even come down towards 92 dollars but overall since we are back in an uptrend here i'm expecting continuation to the upside to potentially test and also 94 dollars only if the DXY is starting to close daily candles again below the 200 and even below the 20 daily moving average then I think that the DXY just had a fake out here and we will return here into a bear market and that of course will be in favor for the crypto and stock market but as long as we're trading above all these moving averages and also above the EMA ribbons we should expect the DXY to go higher and higher and it is possible that we had here a bottom here at around $90. You can also see that money flow is turning now back into green. So as long as we are having this nice money flow coming into the DXY and we are in an uptrend here in the daily, I'm expecting more continuations to the upside. And that, of course, is dangerous for the crypto and stock market. It doesn't mean we have to crash in Bitcoin and in other assets. But of course, it's always a big danger when the DXY is starting to pump that some assets could be affected and could start a major dump if the DXY is starting to pump here. So for now we are still in an uptrend but it looks like that we are in here for a pullback and that's why I'm expecting also big pumps coming up very soon for the crypto space and of course also for the stock market. And speaking about stock market let's go over now to Nasdaq because as expected Nasdaq is having a nice pump we got here a buy signal and also the DXY is currently having a pullback so that is very much in favor for the stock market especially for Nasdaq and since we are breaking out now from this resistance here of $13,000 if today we can close a candle above this resistance and tomorrow also confirm it as a new support then here in my opinion we will go straight up here to retest the old all-time high here of $14,000 and then most likely also break it after this bullish reset that we had in these last couple of days so nasdaq in my opinion is turning back into bullish as well if today we can confirm this breakout from this resistance at thirteen thousand dollar so you will see my friends everything is starting to look again that we will see new all-time highs in all asset classes and if the DXY is failing here to have continuation to the upside and is crashing down again below all the moving averages, then in my opinion, we will see big fireworks in all asset classes and for a very long time, new all time highs almost every day, in my opinion, only if the DXY is really starting to crash. But even if the DXY is starting to go sideways or maybe consolidate or pump a little bit, we still can see continuation and new all-time highs on several assets but maybe it will not be that explosive as we would expect. So the conclusion for Bitcoin and Ethereum for today my friends is that most likely we're gonna see here continuation to the upside. It's just a matter of time till we're gonna see new all-time highs here and I think we are right now out of the woods that we could expect a major correction coming up next. So in my opinion, we will be very soon back on track in our parabolic train to the upside. So with that said, guys, we're going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also check out all my links that you need to sign up to those exchanges that I'm also using, especially Bybit, Femex and PrimeXPT. If you want to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum and other altcoins up to 100x leverage, the news Bybit and Femex. And if you want to try to do some passive gains, but you don't want to trade yourself with leverage, then try out Prime XPT because here we have a unique co-vesting feature where you can easily just copy trade other successful traders. So with my link, no KYC, nothing is needed. You can top up some Bitcoin there and then just click here on follow on the trader that you would like to follow. And also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat here on Discord. If you want to join our great Discord community, then make sure to use the official link that you find also here in the description. Once you have clicked on this invitation code for the Discord trading chat, you have to go here to read first, then click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then a small donation is needed. You can contact me directly here on Discord. 
like this you can get access to this indicator or you can also get a membership here on YouTube like this you also have free access to the live stream indicator on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!